Trips tied in, Buffalo Bills offensive playbook. Got a little mini scheme for you here today, and they're going to be kind of messing around with us. Wanted to drop something out of Trips. Haven't really talked a lot about Trips this year. Um, but this uh, basic Trips tied in is still really, really good uh, for a lot of different reasons. So I wanted to kind of go through and uh, just share with you some combos that I like out of this. If you guys want to get my full uh, trips breakdown, that's going to be in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll be putting the link to that down in the description. I'm going to take my double or nothing out so that he doesn't ruin the uh, <laughs> the video. Double or nothing's in practice mode is, is insane. So first and foremost, audibles in alignment what are the audibles that i like out of this formation i really like verticals i really like pa boot shot a couple other plays that i do think is really really good uh, these orbit motions are cool the um i really like the rpo alert motion screen but honestly the bubble's probably better so i'm gonna put the bubble in here as my run audible and then really other than that um probably just sh this uh this uh shallow x dig play i think it's the only other one you really need the cool part about trips this year is it's you, you kind of have everything you know pretty much just in your plays you don't have to do a whole lot so you don't have to you don't have to have a whole lot of stuff we'll take a look at wide receiver short post um but this, this play is not as good as it has been in the past but the main play i want to go over first is verticals this is just a really good trips play every single year and the reason why this is a good trips play is because these uh, kind of seam plays with a little running back in route are really effective for just attacking the middle of the field you see here i can just throw this i can just throw this um this vertical streak let me show you this one more time hopefully i'll actually be able to catch it there you go kind of just gets into a soft spot of the field against cover four um seeing a lot more cover two this year than i think we thought we would and so with cover two, this verticals play is really good because you're going to see here that you have this fade. This fade is not as good as you see. We get the reroute, and it's really good against hard flatted cover two, but a lot of people are soft squatting in their cover twos. And so what you, can, what you have here is you're going to have your running back underneath, so you can throw that route, which is really good. And then the other thing that you're going to be able to do is – you are going to be able to throw this. Let me show you. You're going to be able to throw this uh, this seam streak. Super tight, super tight window, but you can certainly um, you can certainly throw this. So I'll show you that one more time and give you a little bit better example. So if we go cover two, I'm just going to try to give myself a little bit more time. But as long as we have enough time here, and they're in a cover two coverage, and they're dropping everybody back. This is a clean one play touchdown against cover two. Now, cover four, I think, defends the seam streak a little bit better than cover three does, for example, because in cover three, if you take a look at the coverage, the safety is going to pinch to the middle of the field. So because he's going to do that, this seam streak has got a chance to get more open. Now, one thing that cover three does that is kind of weird this year is if they're not adjusting their hook curls, something you need to know, if they're not adjusting their hook curls, like they're not shading any direction, or they don't have it on five, watch this hook curl. Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't go. I didn't have verticals dialed up. Let me actually put verticals back. Here we go, and then I'll show you kind of what this does in cover three. So watch this hook curl on the left side. You're gonna see he like jets out to the outside. And he actually picks this off. So that is good for the seam streak defense, but the problem is. If they do that at a cover three, you can easily just throw this running back right here and, and get up field. Another thing you can do is let's say you put a comeback out here. These are just kind of little ways to adapt this play. You'll see here that the comeback is going to get open as well. What a lot of people do is they shade those hook curls underneath or they put them on a five-yard zone drop. If they do that, normally this hook curl is going to sit in the middle, and now this is going to get open. Okay, so it's just kind of basing it off, you know, what they're doing, right? Uh, and if they're running a lot of cover three, you can code, you can go to really any of these plays. Uh, PA boot shot, I think, is the best. I would block the running back. I would not actually run a play action. I would just block the running back, 
And then what you're able to do now is if you start to notice they're running a lot of cover three, you're just going to streak the middle receiver and you're going to drag this outside receiver. And what's going to happen is this crossing route is going to be a cover three beater for you, as you can see. Now, what your opponent will do and start to do on this right side because of this play is they will take their their corner and they're going to put him in a half, a deep half. And this is where I really like verticals again and the, specifically this tight end short corner. Because you'll see this tight end short corner will just get open to the sideline really easily. Okay? So I like to have this tight end corner. I think it's one of the most important routes in trips tight end. And if you start to see this a lot, what you can start to do, another thing that they'll start to do is they'll, play, they'll just straight up play cover two to the right. If they start playing cover two to the right, then you just want to put the running back on a table route and just take what the defense gives you that way. Right, because a lot of times what they'll do, and you could put the running back on a table route, you could also put him on an out route. But if they're running a lot of cover two, this running back should be kind of one of your main reads over here to the right side. So you can kind of get some nice high low reads over there to the right side uh, within this play. The next play we're going to be going over is shallow dig. All we're going to do with this play is we're just going to flat this outside receiver we're just gonna snap the ball you're gonna see that we, again we're gonna kind of take advantage of that hook curl if they're not putting their hook curls on five that's where stuff like this really starts to hurt them because you can just dump this down to this drag every single time it's just super open it's it's gonna beat man it's just gonna be a really good route so what they're gonna have to do and this is where you kind of get into the back and forth but they're gonna have to they're gonna have to do one of two things they can either use it which is what I'll show here or they can put their hook curls on five so if they decide that they're gonna use it then there's this void over the middle here where you can throw this crosser right in this little window right and then another thing that you can do is if you're able to wait on this which this is a, a little bit more of a dangerous throw but if you're able to wait on the route, the, the dig coming back over the middle, you see there is kind of get open in that middle of the field, especially if they try to carry, you know, maybe they try to switch stick onto, they try to sw switch stick onto the, the crosser, then this dig is going to be open. So you see here kind of right in that pocket okay another thing about this play or uh, if we go back to verticals for a minute so with verticals another thing i like to do this year i really like this combo this year we're just going to flat this uh, middle trips receiver we're going to in route this outside trips receiver we're going to block our running back and streak our tight end the reason i like this versus like pa counter go is I just think that this crosser uh, from circle is a little better against man. And you'll see here that this read is super, like it just, it's a great quick read to have. And the more they try to guard that in route, you know, basically they're going to have to shade underneath to guard it, right? So they shade underneath, but then you see, oh, we still can throw it. You see what I'm saying? So there's like a very specific way to stop it. So the best way to stop it is that this slot would be on a vertical hook. So it would look really the defense would look something more like this, right? They would start to get, start to get into a coverage that looks like this, right? Okay. So if they do that, this is going to obviously open up verticals in a minute, but I'll just show you this will play that route pretty well. And then they can kind of switch sticker user this crosser. But you can throw the crosser if they don't use it, right? So then if you kind of play in the game, you're in the flow of the game, and you start to see that, then you go to this play. The reason I like this play is because this is going to bomb cover to sink. And this is going to also, if they are running kind of what I was just showing you, this is going to be really, really good for it. So let me just set up the coverage. A lot of people will actually put a quarter on this guy. They won't put a middle third. 
and then this will be like a lot of times it's got to be blitzing right so the circle receiver if you watch this has a real good chance of getting open up the seam and I could have thrown that a little sooner Let me show that throw it a little sooner this time And you see, I can kind of just throw this right on that seam. Now, the other thing that I can do, and I will say, cover two this year is the deep halves, they just get outside a lot more than they have in previous Maddens. So this is a little bit of a tough throw right now. But watch this fade. See, I can just kind of throw it in that hole shot. That's another thing that you have access to. So those are some of my favorite, just kind of like base plays that are good against all kinds of things. Now, when they start to run man coverage, a lot of people this year like to run man coverage against trips because man coverage just plays trips pretty well normally. What I like to do against man to man is this shallow X dig play is pretty decent against man reason why is this tight end drag is really good. Just gets good to gets across the field really well against man coverage. So what they might try to do, just kind of walk you through kind of some adjustments that you might see. Might do a little three wreck and a little hard flat. Okay, well, if I'm in shallow X dig, right, then I'm going to be able to easily just hit this crosser because we know crossers are pretty decent at beating man coverage. And then also, if they use the crosser, then you have the backside in route. Another way that I like to beat man, and this has been good for trips for a long time. The way I like to do it this year is a little different. You, could, you can post your tight end. The reason I don't like to post my tight end is because you see how he doesn't really run where I would want him to run. What I like to do, um, and, and I'll show you here, like this post can't, it, it's also not that good of a man beating post. What I like to do with with this is I really like to put my tight end on an in route and I'm going to stem it up two times so it's going to run about 15 yards I'm then going to slant my slot receiver I'm going to flat my uh, my middle trips receiver and then I'm going to streak my outside receiver and the way you get the streak is use the D-pad. So just like this right here. You can do this out of literally any play. And what you're going to see here is one of the most consistent ways to beat man coverage from trips. That in route will always beat man. It's very difficult for them to guard that, that in route and man coverage. Okay? So then the other thing that you do have as well here is you have this backside slant. And this slant will... Normally be an, uh, a cleaner throw than that was. That was actually surprisingly covered. And if you want to, if you want to, you can also, it doesn't have to be just a slant. So, like, let's say they're throwing a half over there to take the fade away, right? You can, you can utilize a drag. Just understand that, obviously, if they hard flat, it's not as open as a slant. But the drag is good as well in there for some reason. I don't know why my drag is getting bagged. Let's uh, let's run a drag with this dude. I don't know why uh, they're able to bag that drag route. Then we'll do the in route. All right, let's see if this can. And there you see. This is what normally happens. <laughs> the drag route normally gets a lot more separations. So I don't know why that guy was getting bagged on that drag. So you have that. And then one of my other favorite plays is P-Boot Shot. So with this play, what makes this play really cool is you have a, a kind of a unique route to circle. They're all unique routes on the field. But you have this deep post. So this deep post is really good for trying to bomb coverages as well as uh, it's just a better than a hot routed post. And so we'll do the same combo just like this. And what this will do is let's say that, you know, we guess wrong and they're in cover two, 
Well, if we guess wrong and they're in cover two, this deep post is going to normally bomb it. I don't, I'll tell you what, the zones of this game are something different. Let me show you one more time. You just have to wait on it a little bit more, a little bit longer. And you can look at this outside. You can stem this down one to make it a little sharper. Get a little bit better of a pass lead. And you see we're able to beat beat cover two over the top, right? So we're able to beat cover two over the top. We're also typically able to beat cover four um, with this setup if we want to put a slant. So you'll see here I put a slant this time. I accidentally left the crosser. I did not mean to do that, so it's probably not going to work. Yeah. So if you want to bomb cover four, you streak this guy like this. This is the setup for cover four. And we'll see if we can hit this. You do have to have a lot of time for this to work. And I think Kyle Hamilton just gonna just gonna absolutely ruin it because he's so fast. But this is a setup you could try to use. If you ever want to try to bomb cover four from trips, this would be kind of my go-to setup. We'll see if we can get it here. And you see how Kyle Hamilton, he'll probably be able to catch up. But you see how he kind of like squatted and then you're able to throw that over the top if, you know, you have a little bit more fast receiver over there. So you don't have to be able to, you know, bomb every coverage necessarily, right? Because you're going to rarely have time to throw that anyway. This setup, as far as cover four goes, we'll go over that real quick. This setup still beats cover four. So this setup can, you'll see right here, the main throw is like right in this pocket, possession, catch it. So it's still a big play against cover four. It just doesn't doesn't typically bomb it right okay uh what receiver short post the whole purpose of this play would be like to run like a mesh and then you can uh let's see here kind of throw this post in zone see i get that sharp cut nice read over, over the middle of the field for you against zone coverage and then you also have the double drags i think the double drags are pretty good this year just does a good job of um, of beating a lot of different coverages. But that's my main plays that I like for trips. And you do have the bubble screen. You do have some kind of unique plays. I'll show you some kind of the, I guess, more unique stuff that you can do out of trips. Cover four. Uh, this couple of these motion plays. So we went over those plays. So I'll just throw these in the audibles here. This orbit PA... PA wheel is kind of a crazy play. We could look at that. Um, let's see if there's any other plays. Deep in, we can go over. Okay, so the motion. Let me see if I can stem this up. Okay, I told you wrong. I got the wrong motion play. <laughs> All right, it's the motion levels, motion return, yeah. And then we'll get to... Uh, you also have China Y put. There's just a lot of plays in trips this year, which is an advantage. I think the more plays, the harder the switch stick. So if we look at this play motion return levels, you have a couple routes that are kind of good. Really, the main route you have is this uh, motion return. So what I like to do with this is we'll just post um, or uh, we'll drag the tight end. We'll flat the running back, streak the slot and then basically run it like this. And the reason this is good is because it's really spaces out kind of that. It really just almost attacks like that right side yellow, like right there. That's the read that you want. It's also really good against really good against man specifically. Let's see if I can stem up. Oh, sweet. So on this um, on this motion Z spot, you have a so you can stem this slant and it turns it into a sharp post. This is one of the my, this is just like a really, really good route. So, again, this is probably better than one receiver short post because watch how this post runs. You're going to see, oh gosh, shedded. If you watch how this post runs, though, this Z spot. So, look at my, so you see how this is a slant, more of a slant. If I stem him up, you see how it becomes more of a post. And then what will happen here. If we have some time, that's that's crazy. That's a three man shed. That's a literally a three man shed. 
It drives me nuts that they shed like that in practice mode. But you watch this post, and it just gets into this. It gets into this spot on the field that you can throw. For some reason, the yellow zone is playing. This is why five-yard hook curls are a requirement. So if they're going to do that, guys, if if you are struggling against that coverage that just that just bagged me, please, for, for everything, just run the drags and throw this route because it's 15 yards, right? So that forces the adjustment, forces the hand of the opponent, and then this is where this this um, this post is going to become useful. You see, look at how look at how fast he runs that post. He's going to get that animation a lot. So also, if you're uh, another kind of example of okay, we're facing some man to man. This would be a play that I would really want to be calling. Well, you see here, watch his post against man. The sharp cutting posts do a really good job of beating man. And you see how we're getting that nice animation where we're able to catch the ball um, against it. So that's something that you have. Um, another play that's kind of worth touching on is deep in. Um, this one, you would basically run it like this. And then normally what, what you could even do is you could even stem this guy up one um, to make it run super far. And then against that cover four, this can actually kind of get to a unique spot. So you see, watch that post. Yeah, it's going to just run. And you're going to really try to throw this over here. Wasn't able to get it that time. But we go to a, like a... We actually show like just a... Like a post like this almost. So a hot routed post or a curl flat post. Let's see if we can get this against cover four. To kind of... Yeah, see how you can kind of get it like to the sideline. That's the reason why you would use a play like that. Orbit PA wheel. Uh, one of my favorite things to do with this play is to just flat the this receiver here and streak my tight end. And then I would want to have something on the left side from this outside guy. So it could be, I mean, you could even do it like this. This is just kind of a mix and play, right? But watch this running back route kind of just gets into a really, really, really unique spot on the field that you could attack. And then, yeah, the Z spot is really good. The Z spot plays really good. You also have a stemmed quarter. So, like, you could literally, literally, guys, you could run a play like this. This is, like, a really, really good play. So you have the stemmed quarter. That stemmed quarter can be thrown against cover four. So, like, let's say, you know, let's say they're running, like, cover four, Cover for a uh, hard flat. You can throw. Watch the stem corner. You can just throw that to the sideline possession, catch it. So they're going to have to worry about all that over there. And then this is where I, I really like this, this stem post. Because you stem it up one time and it puts it into a really good spot. And what's going to happen again against like come four, come three, any coverage... They switched it to the right. I throw post on the left. See how nice that space. This is why trips is good because trips spaces the field better than any other offense, um, except for maybe you trips. Okay. Last play I want to go over just real briefly with you is this play motion uh, or China Y post. And this play is to attack really the left side. So I'm going to stem this corner down one. And then the way that I like to run this from trips is a couple different ways. So the first one is a motion setup. I really like to this setup right here. Um, I think this just spaces the field really well. And it gives this corner route a nice, it's hard to cover, hard to cover that, right? If they're running a lot of cover four, that means they want to switch it. What I'll typically do is I will streak, not fade, streak this outside guy. Stem this guy down one, flat this guy, and then I might even motion the running back out and drag him. Okay? So what we have here is we have this this streak corner flat. 
it's going to be hard to switch stick this because we could throw that streak for a touchdown if they do, or we could throw the flat for uh, a decent gain if they switch stick. Okay. The other thing you could do is watch this tight end post. It just kind of gets into this really, really unique spot on the field that pretty much has to be usered. Okay. So like if it's a cover three, if you put the running back on a streak, like something like this, watch this tight end post. A lot of times this will be a cover three, Bob. Okay, so you have that. And then this is also a really good man beating route, especially for cover two man which you're seeing a lot of people go to cover two man. Why is this good for cover two man? Prim so if I see this and I know it's cover two man, what I'd probably suggest that you did is have really just something like this. Doesn't have to be too crazy. Uh, just something like this. But watch this tight end post. Get that sharp cut to the middle of the field. And then you're able to. I want a possession got that. But you're able to. Uh, or I should have. You're able to hit that. Now, the way that you get this deep half on the right side to not be as big of a threat seems like a little subtle thing, but just use an emotion streak. Just use a motion streak, right? Now that deep half doesn't play him, and now you've basically just manipulated cover two man. So this is how I like to run Trips tight end. Um, Trips also features one of the best red zone plays that you see every year um you see everybody run this every year and that's flat an in route a slant table route and then a backside in stemmed up one time so see this this is one of the best plays why well because you just have a lot of a lot of reads that are hard to cover for the entirety of a play it just spaces the field really well and that's why um, people run trips, right? Because ultimately, they're going to hard flat. And one of the best ways to manipulate a hard flat defense is this right here. Because watch this in route just get open. Boom. So that's trips I did. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to check out any, of, any more stuff on this, make sure that you join our school community where you'll get all my offensive and defensive ebooks.